In this video, we are gonna talk about V-Ray proxies, and how it gonna speed up our SketchUp file. So these proxies are generated by V-Ray as a substitute to high-poly objects. When we use high-poly objects it will tend to look more realistic, and they give a more refined look to any render. Just take a look over here. I have very high poly tree, and it's a kind of causing my model to lag. And, here there are more similar trees around, which may cause more lagging. To fix this issue, I'm going to convert it into a proxy, and make further copies, to get my scene ready, and render it in a way I want it to be. To create a proxy, firstly turn the thing into a component. So I'm gonna create a component out of it. Before converting it into a proxy, please save the component as a different file. Because if you turn a component into a proxy then it's a proxy forever. So if you want this component as it is, or something else. You should save it separately. Now I'm going to convert this into a proxy, to do that, I will need this V-Ray toolbar. Here I'm gonna hit the export proxy button after selecting the component. This file path option is to choose where we want to save the proxy. Preview type will give you a preview that is close to the shape of component, so you are not confused and know what exactly you are looking at. There is more than one type of previews here. But I am just going to go with refined cluster. Here inside faces in preview, I will change the value into a lesser one. So it again helps in reducing the size. Now click on this export option. This process can take a few minutes or a few seconds depending on the machine and depending on the complexity of the proxy or object. Now it got converted to proxy, and it looks more similar to the original tree component. Now with the same way, I'm converting these group of trees as proxy. As you can see now the group of trees have turned into a refined cluster. See? The individual tree look more closer to the exact object compared to this group. Because it depends on the number of faces I have chosen, and number of polygons contained in the object.
Now let's launch our asset editor. If you scroll down, in geometries you are gonna see the proxies right here. Click on the geometry tab. Open the side window. Here in preview type it basically show preview of how you want this to look like. This is how it look like with proxy option. Here if I choose bounding box it will create a box in the same shape of this blue borders. So I can't really tell which plant is where. Now I will show you the preview with point origin. See here my object is now shown as a number of little dots and a line like this in the middle of the whole group of objects. Basically, Gear A Proxy allows geometry to be imported from an external mesh at the render time only. This means that the actual geometry is not present in the SketchUp scene and has not taken any resources. But when you render it, Gear A will import the geometry from the exported mesh and it will render exactly the same way as the original model. This makes it possible to render large scenes with many triangles or high poly objects more than what SketchUp itself can handle. So by replacing highly detailed objects with proxy, we can drastically reduce the model size and in turn the model will work smoother than ever. So the troubles with highly detailed model can be eliminated. Hope you have learned something new. Thanks for watching the video. Please leave your feedback below in the comment box. Let's see with another productive video. Till then bye.